AMD has just announced that at least one Ryzen 9000 X ready processor will be available on November 7th. But this is a bit of a weird situation because we really have little else to go on. AMD hasn't provided specifications, they haven't provided a price, they've made no performance claims, and they haven't even said this CPU is the Ryzen 7 9800X3D or whatever it ends up being. So if you clicked on this video hoping to get a wealth of information about Zen 5 X3D parts, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I will go through the information we have and some potential reasons for this strange announcement. So earlier today, AMD provided us with a single slide discussing this launch. This is it. Everything we know is on here, with AMD describing it as a teaser. Aside from the release date of November 7th, this slide tells us absolutely nothing. It has probably even leaked at this point, and I'm sure some of you were eagerly awaiting the official announcement NDA to learn more, but Nope, uh, this is all we got. So here is a reenactment of me receiving this news earlier today. Hmm, huh? what's this? Ah, nice. Let's take a look. Um, hang on, is there, is there anything else? Um, don't see anything on this page. No, um, doesn't appear to be anything else. We sure that we're not missing? Uh, right, okay. Um, g guess I'll make a video on, on that. So anyway, with that aside, the CPU being described here is most likely the Ryzen 7 9800X3, although we don't know for sure that's what it will be called. It could be the 9700X3D or something else. AMD hasn't confirmed the name today. But what we've heard from various sources over the last few months is that the 9800X3D type product is expected to launch in early November with higher core count models a couple of months later, potentially early 2025. So this announcement fits with our expectations of when the 9800X3D should arrive. There's there's no point discussing potential specifications because we just don't know at this point. AMD aren't providing any pricing information either, and I expect we will get all of this on the release date to coincide with reviews. One of the trends that we've noticed over the last few months is the Ryzen 7 7800X3D getting more expensive and harder to find. Pricing and availability was pretty stable at around $360 to $370 US until the end of August, and since then it's slowly gotten more expensive, and at many retailers you just can't buy it anymore. In our opinion, this is a calculated move from AMD to discontinue the 7800X3D and make room in the market for the 9800X3D. The last thing AMD wants is the 7800X3D competing against the newer model, potentially offering better value and leading to negative reviews for the Zen 5 model. If you just can't buy the old model at all, the choice of which to purchase is easier. This leads us to believe that AMD will price the 9800X3D at a similar level to the 7800X3D, instead of going for a value play, but again, this is not confirmed at this stage. And if it turns out to retain its crown as the fastest gaming processor, debuting at a cheaper price was never very likely. So why have AMD gone with this announcement strategy? I think it's for two reasons, to steal Intel's thunder and to avoid the issues they faced with the first wave of Zen 5 CPUs. Ahead of the Intel Arrow Lake desktop launch and reviews later this week, AMD wants you to know that a successor to their best gaming CPU is coming shortly. They want to sow some doubt in your minds when looking at Arrow Lake performance as to whether it makes sense to buy an Intel CPU or wait for what AMD has up their sleeves just a couple of weeks later. They don't want people jumping on the Arrow Lake train straight away, they want people to know there will be something else shortly and to start building up that X3D hype. It totally makes sense to wait just two weeks to see what the 9800X3D will bring if you're interested in the best gaming performance. And AMD wants to create this doubt and let people know that new CPUs are coming while releasing as little information as possible to avoid the mistakes of Zen 5's launch. For this to work, I guess they don't really need to tell people what the specs are, how it's priced or how it performs. They just need you to know when it's coming so you can wait and see what it's like. A bit frustrating for people that want the most information, uh, but it is what it is. 
And from my perspective, I would prefer AMD not to release any information if that information is going to be misleading, as it was for the Zen 5 announcement that exaggerated the gains for the new Ryzen 9000 series and what it would provide, especially for gamers. It's pretty tricky to market a processor that may not provide a notable performance improvement, which is why companies then tend to cherry pick information and attempt to show it in the best light possible. If that's going to create a false impression of what the part is capable of, best not to say anything and let the reviews do the talking. So in some ways, I'm pleased AMD has been going with a different tactic for this launch. On the other hand, if Zen 5 X3D was significantly more powerful, I would expect that AMD would want to tell everyone about this before their main competitor's next-gen CPU launch. Based on everything we've seen so far and how AMD has decided to tease this CPU, I would be surprised if the performance uplift was different to what we saw from regular Zen 5 versus Zen 4 CPUs, where gaming performance is just a couple of percent better on average. I'm hoping for the best. It would be nice if we got a more substantial improvement, but there hasn't been any indication of this so far. Whether or not this strategy ends up working, we'll have to see. I guess it depends on how successful Intel's Arrow Lake launch is. Intel have already claimed that the Core Ultra 9 285K will not have a performance uplift in gaming relative to their previous flagship, the Core i9-14900K. So it's likely the Ryzen 7 7800X3D will retain its crown as the fastest gaming CPU anyway, at least until the Zen 5 model is released. AMD also announced new limited time early holiday promotional pricing for existing Ryzen 9000 CPUs. This means up to a $50 discount on the Ryzen 9 9950X, bringing it down to $600 US, and up to a $30 US discount on the other models. So this would put the 9900X at $470, the 9700X at $330, and the 9600X at $250. But to be clear here, this is not an official and permanent price cut. This is just a limited time official discount, again to steal Intel's Arrow Lake Thunder to some degree and make comparisons a bit more favorable. With that said, these new discounts aren't a radical change from existing pricing in the US market. The Ryzen 7 9700X had already fallen to $330 in late September, and the 9900X has been available below its MSRP for a while now, even reaching $430, which is below this new discounted price. The parts that stand to benefit the most are the 9600X and 9950X, which should hit new low prices through these discounts. There's nothing else to share here, so... Yeah, would have loved to tell you more about the 9000 x 3 parts, but that's not happening. Very underwhelming teaser, um, not much more to say really. So that'll do it for this video. Just a quick look at exactly what AMD is talking about, announcing today. If you want to use the word announcement, it's really not very much of an announcement, but I guess it, it is what it is. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you want to support Hardware Unboxed, I guess, I guess you can, but maybe watch one of our more in-depth videos or something before doing that because then you'll get more content and justify your, your support of the channel and signing up to Patreon and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.